Have you ever thought about using Facebook to form your neighborhood in your real estate business? Most likely not. So let me show you how you can take offline forming into the online world in the next five minutes. There, I will walk you through step by step how you can use Facebook to form your neighborhood and become the to-go agent in your area. And I have not stopped there. I also created a checklist you can follow along so let me know down below for me and i will message you the checklist to make it much easier for you hello please god and guten tag my name is annette block your favorite real estate marketing mentor and for the past decade i have been a real estate broker and quickly became the to go real estate marketing mentor for over 2000 agents using video marketing and budget friendly advertising so that they could become the to go agent in their market and in each of my videos you are watching you will get away a tip a trick or a strategy you can implement into your business so that you can win the hearts and minds of people in your community and have an edge over your competition. Let's get right to it. We are almost doing most likely the same than what we are doing offline, where we are starting with the first step, researching the market we want to form. We want to make sure that homes are selling in that area and check with your MLS your market absorption rate and your market turnover for that area. Those numbers should indicate if your market or your neighborhood is ready for you to form. The second step is we want to research the area so that we are very knowledgeable and that we can start to create content. Your content creation, uh, you can collect pictures, you can collect blog posts. You also want to do videos so because those videos allow you to easily build you an audience of Customers. Now that we know what we want to post and what we want to create, we simply have to create that content. Again, video is your best shot because now it allows you to connect, connect with your area, with your neighborhood. So people can emotionally see you, feel you, and they make a decision if they are liking you or if they want to move on. When we have created the content, we have two options. We can use it on our Facebook business page or you can post it to a Facebook group. So personally, we are recommending you are staying open for a Facebook business page because this automation will down the road makes it much, much easier for you to consistent uh, create content and consistent follow up. With a Facebook group, it is much, much harder to engage, to follow up and have some automation to it. We want to stay on Facebook pages where we are now going into our business suite where I am now able to uh, create content and schedule the content out for up to 72 days. That makes it much, much easier. I don't have to worry about the content I have to create. I can bunch create it and then schedule it out for the week. Before you even do this, you want to make sure that your personal profile is optimized so that people, when they come check you out, that they know who you are, what you do, and how you can help them. Especially when you, as a next step, go into Facebook groups and become a helpful resource for those buyers and for those sellers. Believe me, they will check you out, and maybe even you have a link to your Facebook business page that indicates that is a neighborhood. Now that we have that all set up, we can move into automation. We want to automate as much as possible so that it is not becoming a hassle for you, but that you can now become consistent, create consistent content and make sure that people are seeing your content and as little as a dollar a day, that is what allows you to make sure that your content stays in front of people. That is when you are doing videos. Now we are creating custom audience. We can segment those audiences into video vote, 25%, 50%, 75%, or even 100%. And we can do even more with lookalike audiences, asking Facebook to bring us more people that are already connected to us. But that is a little bit for an advanced level. Starting out, 
you can schedule your post, you can put a dollar behind it. Now your post will be automatically shown to your audience. You collect the data and now you are able to retarget everybody who watches your video. One of the last steps is, and it's very important that you stay consistent. Automation will help you the consistency. Now you only have to worry about to post three times a week and now put some money behind this post. And again, that will be in front of your audience that is already there. Consistency and a long-term approach. We know buyers now, it takes six to 12 months before they even raise their hand that they are ready. But when you are that person that stays consistent in front of the people that want to move in or out to their neighborhood, you will be the agent, they will reach out and you no longer have to chase them around. If you want to follow the checklist we have created with some more details, then let me know below farming and I will make sure I send you the checklist and messenger, no sign up required.